Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how you can find out what's wrong with a car when it has no trouble codes but it's acting up. Now I'm working on this 2012 Honda CRV with an automatic transmission and it's got an oddball problem it's been doing it for over a year. Sometimes when a customer drives the car under light acceleration the whole thing shudders and then it goes away. Now the check engine light is on so I hooked up my uber expensive scan tool. It's an hotel that I just updated for Honda. And when I plugged it in, it showed that there was nothing wrong with the car except for a minor problem with the airbag system, which isn't gonna make the car judder while you're driving down the road. Now check engine lights only go so far because if the data isn't more than 15 or 20% off, it often won't trip a code, but this didn't have any codes of any sort, even the mechanic only dealer supported codes. It didn't have any at all. Now I had to drive this thing around about an hour and a half and finally it did some of that juddering. She wasn't making it up. The whole car would blah, 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 a little bit and then it would smooth out. And it would only do it under light acceleration. If you floored it, it didn't do it. And it didn't do it hardly at all. But I did feel it. But having felt it, it felt like a transmission failure. When they really go bad, they shake, they judder inside, the engine runs fine, but then the transmission doesn't work right. And when it's trying to send power to the wheels, instead of a nice continuous power under light acceleration, it was jerking all over the place. One time when she was driving with me in the car, I felt it once, and I thought she had run over something in the road, the structure one. I said, did that happen when you hit a bump? She says, no, you don't have to hit bumps. So I drove on flat surfaces all the time, and it did judder on a flat surface. So it had nothing to do with the suspension. And I did it more than one way. I went inside my house, because it's hot as Hades out here in Houston today after a rainstorm. So I'm going to my air conditioned house. And on my laptop, I typed 2012, Honda CRV technical service bulletins and look what popped up. There it is, service bulletin 17040. Vibration while driving under light acceleration after software update. Now these TSBs are technical service bulletins. These days are anybody can access it on the internet. This thing is 2012, so it's eight years old. It's not under warranty. Honda was fixing these things under warranty for 60,000 miles and I don't know how many years, but it's long out of warranty. I called up the dealer just to see and it's well out of warranty. Now it said that sometimes you can change the filter, reprogram the computer, and it'll fix the problem. But it's already been changed on this. The programming's already been done, and it still does the juddering. She had that done last year, and it still does the juddering. So it's gonna need a torque converter at a minimum. Now at the Honda dealer replaced the torque converter, parts and labor was over a $2,000 job. Now this car's only got 70,000 miles on it, but she's been complaining about this juddering for about a year, a year and a half. So it really hasn't gotten much worse. And she told me she's thinking about getting another car, but she doesn't want to do it right away. So my response is going to be, hey, look, for $2,000, since you've been driving it this way for a year, year and a half, and only does it once in a while, just keep driving it, what the heck? I had another customer with the same exact CRV, told her the same thing, and she said, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. And she just kept driving the thing around. She put another 100,000 miles on it, and now it judders a little bit more than it did before, but it still goes down the road. So really it's not something that, unless you're an absolute fanatic, would be worth spending $2,000 to fix something that judders every once in a while, only under light acceleration. If it was a serious problem, when you really were accelerating fast on a highway, started acting up, could be dangerous, but this thing only did it under light acceleration. Whenever you floored it, it would just go and take off. And with all the computer control crap on modern cars, most people that have brains are gonna realize there's some things that, hey, you're just gonna live with as long as they're not dangerous and it runs pretty good most of the time. It's not really worth putting all the effort and money into something that's eight years old. I mean, obviously they have planned obsolescence written all over this with sometimes they say, well, bring it in and we'll do the software update because the original ones had some shifting problems and they had to upgrade the software so that they'd work quite a bit better. But as they age, hey, and things wear some more, the software updates can only do something for 
the actual physical wearing of the transmission. They can't fix something perfectly when there are actually things like the torque converter that's starting to wear out. And let's say this was a serious problem. I contacted my transmission expert and he said that, Scotty, really, if you're going to mess with this thing, we would replace the torque converter, but we'd rebuild the whole transmission. And it would generally go between $25 and $3,500, which would make more sense. If the stupid thing actually did break and wasn't drivable, you wanted to keep it, rebuild the whole thing correctly. Just don't replace one part of it. But when 99% of the time it's working okay and a fancy scan computer like my Autel doesn't pick up anything wrong and when I analyze the live data, there's nothing that's really off more than a few percentage points. And like I said, it's gotta go 15 to 20% off before it's gonna trip any codes. My advice with something like this would be just leave it alone if it's only going to happen less than 1% of the time. It has been doing it for like a year and a half and it doesn't seem to be getting any better or any worse. I'd live with that too. Because on this model CRV, they really didn't have that many transmission problems. This is a regular transmission with gears. Now if you're talking about the later model CRVs that have the CVT transmissions, quite a few of those have had failures. That's another story entirely. But this, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it is the torque converter. Who wants to spend two grand to fix something that works okay 99% of the time? And at least now you learned a good way to diagnose problems when there is no check engine light, no bad data that anybody can find. Start looking at technical service bulletins because these are machines. They're all made in the same factory by the same robots and humans. So, if there's a known failure, that's the first thing you want to check in those technical service bulletins. Give all that information, and with the internet today, it's very easy to search them down. So, if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell!